If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, They'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. about Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's got to be all alone and scared.
Nice to get a little fresh air in your lungs. You don't shoot, I won't shoot. Deal? Keep them hands where I can see them. What are you doing out here? I'm doing what I'm paid for, and not a bit beyond that. Name's Lillian. Lady named McCass hired my crew as gun hands got left here to watch for Cleo reinforcements. They all got pinned inside, so I can't say as I mind. Don't mind the asking, but I ain't telling. You want details? Go talk at Miss High and Mighty What's-Her-Name. She's in the labs, pinned down. If a whole team of gun hands can't get through anti Cleo security, what makes you think I could alone? I ain't paid near enough to be dumb. Definitely got something large and uncomfortably shaped up her nethers. Yammering on about rights and privileges and what all, I'm like, lady, just sing out when you want something shot. Leastways, her pamphlets make good kindling. I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day, and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. Got a smoke? Thanks, brother. I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. 
But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew. Got that going for me. My damn cigarettes, for one thing. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. When I turned about, I seen two fine gun hens being snacked on by lizards. No cigarette case is worth my life, no matter how badly I need a smoke. This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case, some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. Don't tell me we're about to go fishing through a Raptodon's guts. Well, you'd sure as hell have earned it, wouldn't you? An outdoor Raptodon pen yonder, past the main entrance. Well, only knows why they're breeding the damn things. I'd be obliged. Just don't lose any parts trying. Boss, I think we can get in through that vent shaft. The mysterious doors are the funnest sorts of doors. Ugh, getting acquainted with all sorts of colorful new smells today.
Oh. Here we go. It's fit. That's one down. You! Over here! Oh good, you're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Yes, I imagine he does. But we all have problems. It is the human condition. I am myself ensnared in this wretched place. You want to kill me. I don't want to die. Therefore, it is in my best interest to negotiate with you. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for my life. Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. 
Secret research facility, abandoned town, minimal security. Crane actually sent out a cry for help? Oh, the poor bastard. Seeing his life's work snatched from him? Must be like losing a child. Crane is the man who runs this lab. Probably gone around the bend fretting over his beloved research. Not that there's anything lovable about diet toothpaste. Diet toothpaste. Can you imagine a more pernicious example of corporate materialism? I do not know what is worse. Working here, or dying here. What matters is that I have been lied to. I was led to believe this was a high-priority corporate facility hiding valuable research. This job was not supposed to end with me stuck in some wretched lab smelling like rats. So I would be very much obliged if you gave me a break. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. I am good for my word. You will be equitably rewarded on my honor. But I will not haggle or bargain with you until you help me. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Clio Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Give me a little credit. We are not bandits. We do not steal research. We liberate it. So a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. I will not be accountable for every idiot who wanders in front of my gun. This lab is a prison, not a place of work. Those men were not scientists. They were indentured laborers. We liberated them. They should be thanking us. All wars have casualties. I regret taking a life, but we were doing them a mercy. Better to die than live in a state of slavery. We are all of us trapped. You, me, the scientists. This is not a colony. It is a slave camp. Yes, we raided the lab, shot some guards, killed a few scientists in the crossfire, but it was all for a higher cause. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. On my honor, you will be well rewarded. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. Never imagined I'd say this, boss, but even a raptodon deserves. better.
move along. All those innocent guns. Slaughtered.
You're gonna bust it down or jimmy the lock? You're fast. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. So you have. I am much obliged. 
And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. Good. I never trust a freelancer who works for free. There is no need to glare at me like that. You have made your point. Turncoat, we saw everything.
You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. You got one minute. Starting now. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. <laughs> Don't reckon the company's gonna see it that way. Think I don't know my own responsibilities, mister? I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town. You got it open? Picked the wrong damn day. Stop. 